Hello guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you the curve fitting for the hyperelastic models. As we know in the final element analysis, if the model contains the hyperelastic materials, we need to define these material constants. All these constants are determined from the curve fitting and uh, the test data. So today I'll use the meta editor as a demo to show you how to um, go from the test data and uh, apply the curve fitting, then eventually get the material constants that can be used for your finite element analysis. Okay, uh, now uh, let's create a new material object. Okay, then we have some predefined uh, uh, test data in the hyperelastic materials. So today I'm going to choose the elastomer sample that contains three groups of data. One is a uniaxial, another is a biaxial, and a shear test data. So there's three groups. In each group, we can see this strength and stress curve. And this is the one temperature test data. Sometimes if you have multiple temperature data, you can do that as well. Just simply input. Okay. Uh, also, you can import uh, the data from uh, X file or text file. Okay, we have test data. Now. Then let's add a hyperelastic material property. So we have a multiple hyperelastic model available. Uh, now we use a very common and well known mon driven nine parameter model. Okay, now this, all these parameters are blank and not defined yet. So we need to add a curve fitting. If you right button click on this Molly Ribley 9, then we can have curve fitting object. Then all this curve fitting will based on these three groups of test data. Okay, then we just simply solve the curve fitting. Then copy the data to the property when we have this. So um, we have the parameters uh, calculated uh, in these value cells, so you can use them. Uh, pay attention to the unit. This unit is in the Pascal. If you have different unit, you need to uh, convert probably by yourself. Then, uh, if uh, you can, uh, as we can see that uh, we have not only the values but also the curves in the chart window. So the dots are the, the test data. Then all these curves are from the calculated curves. So that's it. Very uh, simple and straightforward. If you um, have, you want to try different hyperelastic models, that's a totally same procedures. Uh, you just follow the same pattern and uh, select a different uh, hyperelastic model and do it. So if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. Thank you for watching.